Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, The Chief, a.k.a. The Chef, a.k.a. The King of Fluff, bringing you another episode of Brawl Stars. We're inside of today's video. We're going to be stroking Chief Cat, as always, but more importantly, actually, not as importantly, we're going to be using Shelly's new star power as she slips on my iPhone right there and to see if we can use that new star power Band-Aid inside of Big Game Hunting Party. I'm really curious how this goes down. Can we use this new Band-Aid perk to be able to go back up to full HP inside of this Big Game Hunting? Let's see what happens right now, but Chief Cat obviously getting a little bit crazy, a little bit jealous whenever I turn the video camera on. And as she's strutting her fluff around, she's actually been a little bit of sick. So prayers up to Chief Pat or Chief Cat. She's been uh, throwing up a little bit, so we're gonna take her into the bed tomorrow. But let's see if we can throw down right now inside a big game and see whenever we get to be the big brawler inside of it, if we can just heal up all of our HP and last a ridiculous amount of time. I haven't seen anyone else do it, so I'm sort of curious to see how it turns out. I have no idea how this is gonna end up, but let's go ahead and go in right now. And starting off against this Leon right here, not really sure if Leon's the best brawler for big brawler. I mean, I guess you can sort of go invisible and run and troll around the map, but I mean, you are a pretty big target and everyone's gonna have their eyes on you when you likely go invisible. So not really sure if this is gonna the work out the best for this uh, big bad Leon right here. Anyways, let's keep it up. Only 30 seconds in. Already taken about, uh, looks like a third of his HP. Gonna keep storming forward, almost get our super available. Now, Shelly, as a boss killer, isn't really that great, depending on who you're going against. So, unless we're getting to be the big boss, it's probably gonna turn out to get pretty ugly. Looks like Leon's gonna run forward again. We'll just keep storming our way through right here. You can see this invisible Leon trying his best, but yeah, I think Leon really isn't one of the best brawlers right here. I guess he does have a quick move speed to be able to run around this map, but instead, we're just gonna keep on grinding our way through. Leon's gonna run around like a little snake. And it uh, looks like we should be fine to continue sprinting on in. We did get our little uh, star power right there to be able to heal back up quite a little bit right now. Leon's going to go in. Shelly's going to continue to deliver the pain right here, actually. All right. Not too bad. We're a minute and 10 seconds in. 24% left. Obviously, if you guys have ever gotten a sub one minute big boss kill, those are the best. You get so many rewards. And for me, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tickets to get rid of. And uh, let's see if we can at least get some good rewards from it getting inside of this match. All right, 24,000 HP left. Jesse's gonna throw down her turret. We've got Rico, who's going absolutely ham right now. I still think that Jesse, unless this Band-Aid star power works, is probably the best uh, big brawler you can play right now. By the way, I'm not paying attention. Where did, where did Leon go? I guess we lost it. Oh, there he is, he's on the very bottom. All right, let's see if we can finish it up as he tries to sprint his way across the map. One minute and 45 seconds, not our most impressive score as Shelly whiffs, whiffs her super right there. That's gonna be GG well played. Not the worst thing in the world. 149, gonna be able to get some decent rewards out of that. Obviously under two minutes is okay. It's gonna be 440 times two with that star token bonus right there. Pretty juicy stuff and let's go ahead and get into the next match. And guys, wait, how many how many star points? Do we? we have 329 tickets to get rid of. That's ugly. Star points wise, I'm still working. I'm getting like a lot of my brawlers up to 600 right now. So I'm hoping that that's gonna pay off down the line. Let's go and get into our next match right now and see if we can throw down as the big brawler Shelly herself. Let's go. So we ended up getting the big brawler ability. Let's go. Uh, wait, big brawler ability? I don't even know. We're the big brawler right now, obviously, as Shelly. I think it's a little bit questionable how good we're actually going to be, but we'll figure this one out as we go. Spamming our way on through, we do have to wait 20 seconds for our star power to really lock in. But guys, are we going to get a juicy heal, or is this going to be a complete flop? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Destroying everyone in sight. Star power is fully activated right now, so I guess we have to wait until we get a little bit lower on HP. Let's go ahead and clobber this Nita right here sort of just running ourselves in circles. Looks like we got another Shelly to go up against. Let's go and blast her into smithereens. Rico putting in a lot of work against us, unfortunately. Rico, a little bit of a nuisance inside of this matchup right here. And I guess for now, we're not really gonna get too much value out of our star power until we get later on in this game. So we better uh, say a prayer that this works or else this is gonna not be so fun. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going in. Looks like we're at about, ooh, we're below 50% HP and it, over a minute has uh, has gone by. So, or not even a minute has gone by. So this isn't really the ideal start for what we want right now. Looks like, wait. Guys, why, why did my HP not go up to max? I'm a little confused. Hello? Uh, okay. Looks like you get 5,000 HP no matter who you are, where you're from and what's going on as Shelly. Hmm, not really ideal. Okay, Band-Aid Shelly, OP inside of every single part of Brawl Stars. Not really good inside of the big game hunt. 
let's circle back to the most OP brawler inside of this mode. You guys already know who it is, Jesse. If you guys haven't already, Jesse is the best way to actually end up getting the or getting value out of your tickets. Using Jesse, you can get so much work done. I saw that spike, but tried to auto aim. I am a monkey. All right, let's go ahead and keep doing this. Running on forward right here. That is going to be a complete flop. Ugh. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm a little disappointed that the, that the big game Shelly didn't just heal back up to like 70,000 HP. That seriously would have been the most toxic thing that Supercell has ever done. I'm sort of, I guess I am sort of glad that that's not a thing or else Shelly would completely dominate everything. But unfortunately, wow, we got a Piper on this map. That is, uh, that is pretty aggressive right there. 2,400 HP left on us. I'm going to keep spraying and praying right here. Once we get a turret, we should be able to do something with it. But man, Spike, going to give us a little bit of an issue, but I, I think especially... With a couple of Shellys, uh, I mean that Piper on our team, we might be able to do something. I don't, I don't really know. Who is your guys' favorite big brawler to play uh, on this mode? Let me know inside of the inside of the comment section below what you got. Nice little Piper super right there. It's going to sort of set us up for success. Looks like that's going to be another big shot to the face of the spike right here. So continuing to just drag this one out, we're finally going to get our first turret, which of course we're going to throw in a useless location, at least a little bit. Continuing to run on through, couple of turret shots, trying to spray their way on in. Spike going to end up missing me. Looks like his little hurricane, or what is it? The yeah, that's gonna be, whew, that's gonna be a big spike to shot to the face. 33%. Is my score gonna be the worst one of today? I don't remember getting like less than two minutes as the big brawler. I'm a little embarrassed at that Shelly play, and that's why Shelly not really great to have as the big brawler. You just don't have a lot of control. And uh, yeah, it looks like we're just gonna have to keep spraying and praying right here. Let's drop our super in just a second, and that will be a very dead spike at one minute and 39 seconds left. Okay, Spike was okay, but again, if really the brawlers that tend to dominate inside of this mode are gonna be those uh, Jessies, they're gonna be those Nitas, they're gonna be those guys who have spawnable stuff that you can be able to throw out there. Having bears and Jesse turrets throw down at you repeatedly is pretty intimidating. And one brawler, this could be pretty interesting with, with BB actually. With BB, she is rock solid to be able to be able to take people out and have that, um, have that really quick reload speed. So I'm sort of excited to see if BB's gonna be able to sort of slap us down right here. I've played a couple of BBs and it's gotten pretty ugly. Looks like she's gonna start swinging it up right here, but with that really quick reload speed and the fact she does 35 or 2,500 plus damage per shot, she can almost two-shot every single brawler inside of the game. So let's uh, let's see if we can keep our distance, which could be pretty difficult because she has a movement speed buff as well. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a little ugly. Turret's gonna get 672 damage. So that's value out of a super if I've ever seen it. 30 seconds in, we've only taken a quarter. Okay, looks like this is pretty typical. My best scores as the big brawler have been like somewhere in the three to four minute range using Jesse. Haven't really seen too many people go farther than that unless you get lucky and you're paired up like against a bunch of noobs or something like that. This BB is smacking people in the face, but the fact that she is so close range, she's taken a couple of shots every single time before she finally gets taken out. Looks like we're just closing in on a minute and we still have cracked that 50% barrier. Let's keep moving through. BB's gonna continue to spray and pray right here. There goes another turret shot. That's gonna be quite a bit, maybe a thousand HP with that turret as BB sprints to the finish line, making her way to the other side of the map. She's gonna, ooh, that it was a juicy <laughs> BB hit right there. Honestly, she is a home run bat waiting to happen. 116 on the clock. I just am gonna continually get smacked down right here. Let's see if we can keep maybe a little bit more distance this time as BB runs her way to the other side of the map and uh, looks like not really gonna be able to happen too much. Let's just continue to keep our distance. Jesse does have a really slow reload speed, which is one of her biggest uh, downfalls, but one more shot to the face as I get supered will be GG well played. All right, 135, not terrible, but guys, we need to get that big game with Jesse and stack that paper. We're gonna get 440 plus times two with that level up as well. We're gonna get some decent uh, coins on that one getting like a thousand when you spend 20 tickets and have that bonus is like one of the best feelings inside of brawl let's get into one more right now to see if we can turn this around and unfortunately we're not going to end up being that big brawler all right shelly let's see what you got let's see if we can kill this shelly in less than a minute i've had success killing shelly's in less than a minute especially with this um especially with the new perk being like such a little bait card right there i think it works should work out pretty well this leon's gonna of course fall for that bait right there as we miss our jesse shots all over the place let's see if we can corner her down right now again these pipers are sort of spamming right now i don't know why these pipers are so popular i'm gonna be the first person to go down 84 percent hp already what's left and if we can blow up a couple of those walls and keep that shelly stuck in that corner do you guys remember when frank was super op in this mode and he could, you could just stun the big boss over and over and over and over again if you had a couple of big franks on your team that was uh that was one of my favorite memories inside of this mode that was crazy all right looks like we've got 
just a little bit left to work with right now. The Shelly is being a little bit annoying right here. Let's see if we can throw this turret down at a distance and sort of force her to come over towards this angle right now. We're getting a lot of decent damage from that turret. We stacked up like 3,000 damage at a minimum. Leon's going to go ahead and go in against the Shelly once again. We'll throw her turret down on the very top, which is going to get popped in like one or two hits, but she's going to let that turret continually get 336 damage per shot, guys. And uh, this is looking really decent. 104 on the clock. We're not going to get sub one minute, but you can see we're starting to roll now. This Shelly is feeling the pain. The turret literally has been massacring her all game long. I'm going to throw the turret down again. So much damage going through. She's literally letting this turret melt her. And I'm going to go ahead and throw one more turret down and uh, see if we can finish this one off strong. The turret at 336 damage per shot. Should be able to finish off in one minute and 28 seconds. GG well played. And okay. Well... Unfortunately, as we tried to make our way through and uh, use that Band-Aid perk with Shelly, it didn't end up going down, but still, if you guys want to get those easy, easy tokens, by far and away, the best parlor to play is Jesse. I'm actually going to play one more ingredient and see if we can get this done. Jesse, though, really solid. If you guys have tickets, tickets are obviously the best way to get those star tokens to be able to get... Um, uh, to be able to get big boxes or get boxes inside of the game get those brawl boxes and level up all of your stuff i recommend going or waiting for a big game mode like this and using it we're having to have a primo for this last one spam jesse spam nita and that's by far and away the best way to spend your uh your your tickets inside of brawl stars it's going to be the best way to get uh those those tokens and to be able to level up your stuff so keep that in mind whenever you guys have a gigantic stack of tickets and hopefully it'll help you out down the line all right primo's already out and about right now primo being able to jump across the map going to be a little bit of a nuisance not sure if he's going to be a very great brawler for this so we'll see as he gets his super things might get a little bit more concerning he doesn't have a, a great distance obviously so or a, a great range on his abilities so we can sort of use that to our advantage shelly's going to continually beat this primo up I'll use my turret to start trickling down once again, but Primo's gonna make his way to the other side of the map. Still getting a thousand damage per shot right now, guys, and this Primo is going down pretty dang quickly. He's below 50%. If this Shelly can stay alive and continue supering him over and over and over again, this is gonna be money. Now, he's smart. He moved to the other side right here as our turret continually is walloping on him right there. 50 seconds on the clock for a sub one minute match. That's what I'm talking about. Stacking over what, like 600 on a single one? Should be 540 times two, 1,080 tokens on our final one. Play Jesse or play Nita, get into this big game mode. Make sure you spend 20 tickets at a time. You guys are gonna find yourself getting a crazy amount of boxes. That was 10 boxes for one 50 second match. I'm at 357 right now. I'm gonna keep on spending these and hopefully be able to stack them up. That's gonna do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.